Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Woodsboro, my beach core island. I am super excited today because this might be the finishing video. I cannot believe it. I really, I'm so excited. I, I love this island, but you know, at the same time, I'm ready to build something that's more my style. Um, and you'll kind of notice the way that the island is put together that beach core is not my thing. It really, really isn't. Even though I've had fun with all of this, um, building anything summer related is just... It, it's like foreign to me um, because summer is not summer is not my season I like fall and winter no no guys we have a five-star island oh I've never had a five-star island before oh my gosh, I am so excited. <gasps> no way. I have to take a screenshot. <gasps> oh my gosh, I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I've never had a five-star island before. This is my first first ever that is something else i took the screenshot so i can put it in the discord if you're not a part of the discord yet make sure you come join we you know we share a lot of stuff about our islands and um if you join the discord and you drop your da address i will visit it on the upcoming island tours which i plan on doing Alrighty, I am back with the stuff, and for Julia's area, I, I feel like Julia would be the one to hang out outside reading books and um, just enjoying the nice weather. So we are going to put down a blanket for her to sit on. <laughs> Okay, that is gonna be it for Julia's area. I put down a bird bath with a birdhouse and a table and chair next to it so Julia can sit and, mm, no. Why do you do this to me? Gosh. Um, okay. So Julia can sit here, have lunch, watch the birds 
and um, she decorated the area a little bit up against the fence here with a very, very cute little um, garden wagon. I love it. And then Julia loves books so much that she wanted to share that with others. So she's got a little tiny library here, a little free little library. And she's got a book here talking about all of the current or the local flora and fauna. She's got some, you know, her TBR, her to be read pile, and then some new books that maybe just got delivered. She's got her coffee, and then she's got this scrapbook here that, you know, she just lays down and goes through and adds photos and stuff like that. And then, of course, her vine chair so that she can sit and read. I think it came out super cute. And I'm gonna get out the items we need for Sherbs and then we'll get right on into it. <laughs> Okay guys, we've finished Sherb's area and Sherb has like the party house and I love it. I think I want this to go, what was it, this way? Yeah. So we've got the pool, we've got the floaty, there's a cooler here, some poolside tables, um, speakers, which I, nice, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then back here at the back, he decided to build a, um, outdoor kitchen because he's hosting so many parties he's like yes we need food and drinks so there's a couple of counters a mixer to make drinks a freezer for ice and food and whatnot and then he's grilling up um or he's cutting up a fish and then smoking whatever and grilling whatever whatever makes their little hearts happy and he's got a pool table and then a table to eat at and of course his little chair so he can hang out under the tree so that area is done i love it i also put a couple things out here on the beach because why not right to clean up my inventory and then get the stuff we need for audis and i will be right back <laughs> Okay, we have finished Audie's area. I 
overestimated how much space I had here, but I think I think I did okay. I put down a bench and a garden wagon and then um, a flower bed, I think this is what it's called, to kind of fill out this area a little bit. We don't I don't want it to be too filled up. Um, because it's just kind of the entrance area coming from the shopping district. Can I put a... Yeah, we'll put one right there. Bush right there. And then uh, she does have her, her vine chair that she can come hang out in back here. Uh, but she's got the bonsai shelf where she takes care of little trees that she enjoys. Some lilies that she put together. She's got her greenhouse, her bucket to be able to water and then she's got some little potted plants and some starters going on here as well as the display cases for all of the um, bouquets and stuff that she's put together or what flowers she has available for whoever needs them. So I'm really excited. I like, I, I really like this area. I think it looks so cute. Um, obviously natural builds like this are more my thing. Um, so you can see that I have a little bit easier of a time building stuff like this. But this one is done. And so all we have left really is my build, which again, it's just going to be a natural build. There's not going to be anything too great. And then uh, the orchard, which I am just going to put fruit trees up there that it's not going to be anything special so I'm just going to do that off camera and then I will kind of um, continue decorating this little area as well which again I'll just do it off camera because it's just a walkway that comes out to the beach over here and that'll be it and then the next video coming up will be the final tour I am so excited I'm also kind of happy that this island is over <laughs> done we can move on to the next one. Uh, I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break uh, with the decorating videos. And what we'll do is some dream address tours. I, I'm really looking forward to that. I've seen some islands that I really want to like fully tour. So um, there will be a little bit of break in between the decorating videos. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, come join the Cozyverse and hang out with us, chit chat about the game and whatever you're playing. It is linked below. Have the loveliest of days and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.